your back. Gordon Bennett, I didn't recognise you for a minute there. For an awful moment, I thought you were from the Inland Revenue. <laughs> Where are you going all suiting and booting? Oh, big day, innit? Me and Tony's got a meeting with a bank manager. Hey, well, mind you, don't ruin that suit when you're grovelling on the carpet. Yeah, I don't think it'll come to that, Dad. Well, it always did in my experience. Not that it ever got me anywhere. Still, you might be lucky, eh? Well? Bloke over there could do with a bit of luck going his way, eh? Will Kelly take us to the park? I don't know. Probably. Will she buy us an ice cream? Oh, come on, kids, now. Don't be running a ragged, eh? She looked deadbeat yesterday. She's doing this as a favour. Hello, Martin. Don't ask Don, please. What are you doing all spruced up? Then chuck the own rule. Oh, it's just my new boss. Likes us to be nice and smart, draws a better class of customer. Pity you didn't bother to do that for me. Oh, sorry, boss. Should have asked. You're not telling him then? No. Want it to be a nice surprise. <laughs> Cut loose, mate. I don't want to. You're getting yourself into deep water. It's got the old marks of disaster written all over it. A woman with a bolshy kid of 13, in-laws putting the screws in, and the ghost of Baron von Richthofen over and over it all. Don't make fun of him. I'm not. All I'm saying is be realistic, pal. You want to hide into nothing here. Excuse me, are you going to take my money or not? Yes, uh, sorry, Maud. I've been sat here waiting for ten minutes. Or aren't you bothering to serve anyone whose head doesn't come above the counter? Don't shout at him, Maud. He's uh, not very well. What's the matter with you? It's that old black magic problem, Mrs Grimes. Leave it out, will you? Poor bloke's in love. What are you doing being in love? I had you down for more sense than that, Des Barnes. You're not a great believer in it, then, Maud? Seen too much of it in my time. Then what ends up loving ends up paying. Take my advice, it's a mugs game. You have to be dafter to bet on that than on the GGs, and you know how much sense that makes. You still do it, though, Maud? I don't bet my life on it, Des. Just 20p, no more. There you go, Des. Now you've heard it from the horse's mouth. Literally. There you go, partner. What's that for? Fastest gun in the frozen west. First, I suggest you start with the pizzas, then then go on to the paella, and finish with the peas. Curly, this is not my job. Julie's on pricing. At was. That's tense, I'm afraid. What? She lost in a showdown with your mate, Calamity Jane. Oh, you mean she did sack her? Oh, in no uncertain terms. And it was a clean kill. Oh, Curly, you shouldn't have let her. She was a temp. It's not my department, is it? Come to think of it, you're a temp. Hope you're keeping her well satisfied, mate, because she's a deadly shot. Mm. Get some practicing. Right. The deadwood stage is coming in. Bossman's gonna like this, Kevin. No? I mean, we couldn't just drop him a note or give him a phone, could we? Ah, it wouldn't be right, would it? Besides, you want the practice. Of what? Telling people where to get off. I've had too many years of taking it from people like him. Ball winning the dons of this world. Now, the tables are turned. Ugh, you've been in one of those assertive courses. <laughs> yeah, you need one of them. Come on, let the party begin. <laughs> Docker's wind. Wine. Oh. Look, 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 sir. Why not an eye? It's a, uh, an old-fashioned name for a narrow street. That's all it is. Not be wind to the lights of the folks round here. Ah, the point is, does it matter? They're going to change the name to mine anyway. Alf Roberts wind. Wind. Alf Roberts wined and dined and got wind. Oh well. Come on, we're going to be a laughing stock. I thought this was supposed to be an honour, not some permanent cause of shame. Yeah, well, I can't turn everything down, can I? I mean, uh, there well, comes a time when they're going to say, well, please, I beseech you, not wind. <sighs> Can I have an hamburger, love? Not with onions, you can't. Mr. Wind. <laughs> you found him? I'm afraid not, Mrs. Platt. Then what? We just require a little additional information. Why? For um, general identification purposes, dental records, that kind of thing. He's dead. Mrs. Platt, he's, he's not. There's no evidence to... Um, we simply, after the uncertainty of the cash point situation, we have to change. Where is he? We're not looking at any one specific. Don't lie to me. There was a young lad taken to the hospital in Stoke last night. He died in emergency. And he looks like Nicky. 
I'm afraid in this particular case a photo is of little use. Where are you going? To see the body. There's no need for that, Mrs. Plant. I think there is. It's very unlikely it's your son. I'm sure the dental records will eliminate it. Well, then take me to him. Let me see him. And I'll tell you. Mrs. Platt, there's absolutely no way you'd be allowed to. It's against procedure. Now, if I could just have his dentist's name, then we'd be... No! Scared. It'll take too long. You can't just expect me to wait. I'm sure everything will be all right. You just have to check it out, that's all. It's procedure. It's just procedure. We'll be in touch. Work. Uh, no, no, um, sit down. No, 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 I can't belong. I, um, I, I just came to... S Look, Des, this is all getting a bit out of hand. There's too many things coming at me from all sides. I mean, there's you, there's Becky, and now the family... But what are you trying to say? You're saying that it's all over? No, 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 no. I just need some space, so some time, that's all. But you're not asking that from them, are you? Just from me? Des, please. This is the end, isn't it? No. Come on, Claire, don't lie to me. I don't know. I, I, I just... Please, Claire, don't do this to me. I need you. I'll do anything. I was thinking, why don't you move in with me? Bring Becky. We'll give it a go. We won't know until we try. Des, please. I just want some time. Sorry. It doesn't have to be the end. Doesn't it? You must be able to get through to him. Please. It's his wife. I need him. Well, this is an emergency. Tell him to phone me. Please. Gail? Gail, come on. Come on. Now, what exactly did that policeman say? Come on. They think they found Nicky. He's in a hospital in Stoke. Is it? Has, has he had an accident? Oh, God, oh, Gail, no. <laughs> Them. I've got to go and identify the body. Gail. I've got to go now. Look, wait for Mark. No, no, there isn't time, I've... Um... Will you take me off, please? What? Please. Well, aren't the police going to... No, be? it's not done. Please. Go on. Uh, it's a steady erosion, Emily. Every day, Martin seems to be getting a little bit closer to the ground. He's trying to carry everything on his shoulders. Well, at least Gail's back at work. Sitting brooding doesn't help. No, it's one of those nightmares. It very little does. What do you think, Mrs. Bishop? Lovely, Mr. Sugden. Up to your normal standard. No, no, you have, know the friends you have to look properly. I've gone to the old, you know, the traditional method of buffing down with newspaper. That way you don't get any streets. Can you see any? No. No, well, you'd have to step back a bit, you see, and get the light on it, or else you can't judge it any other way. You make such a sudden dance out of everything. Oh, Emily! Oh. You fine. could have been killed! Ooh. These elders you should be allowed on the road! I'll sort this out. It, it was my fault. You'd be the death of me. Well, you better nearly was. Now then, young man, what do you think you're playing at? It's not the Isle of Man, you know. Turn me it over to you and your sort so we can go creering around. Afternoon, Mr. Sugden. How are you? Oh, it's you. It was my last looked. Excuse me, I'm running a bit late. Uh, just a minute. I want to ask you about your motorbike. I'll put your name down on the list if you want to run out. You'll have to be patient, because there's quite a few ahead of you. Have you been on a bike before? I'll tell you this, madam, that during the war... Well, I... like I said, just be patient and I'll get to you in time. Got yourself a date there, Percy. If only. Good afternoon. Can I help you?
help you? I've come to see my son. Can I have his name? Nick. Nick Black. A Tilsley? It might be under Tilsley. No. No name. He won't be under any name. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I do he need was a name. He was admitted to emergency last night. And do you know what ward he was brought into? He's dead. My son is dead. The, uh, the police asked her to come and identify the body. And are you the police? No, no, I'm a, I'm a relative. Where are the police, then? I'm afraid I've no notice. No, we don't need them. I'm sorry, there's no way you... Let me see my son! Oh, come on, Kayla. Let me see him! <sighs> your little lady up to then? What do you mean? Well, she took an extended lunch. She won't tell me where she's going. What's she up to? She's not looking for another job, is she? Well, how should I know, Curly? Eh? We don't live in each other's pockets. Not like some people. All right, all right. I was only asking. And she wants to see you in the office. Well, I've got work to do, man. I don't think it was a request. I think it was an order, Andy, and I don't think it does, you know, to keep your boss waiting now, does it? Oh, well, she'll have to wait until I've finished here first, won't she? Woo! Living dangerously, are we? Yeah. <laughs> No, you don't want to be stuck in every night watching Sally. I'm not saying I don't fancy a night out. I mean, these dudes at the Legion, you know, can be very, very pleasant. It gives you a chance for a natter and a bit of a dance, you know. And they do a, well, a so-so meal, but... No, ah, oh, Billy, well, you know what he's like, don't you? He starts off by holding the chair back for you to sit down on. Come the end of the evening, he's knocking and flying and singing George Foreman's dirty little ditties. <laughs> Show you up, you know that. Yes, love. <laughs> Only, I'm just worried if I have to dress for dinner, cos I haven't got out to wear. And I don't want to show yes, you up. You, you wouldn't show me up if you came in a little black number made out of bin liners with holes in it. I've never been one to judge a book by its cover. <laughs> All that top show and, and stuff, I mean, that doesn't impress me. No, it's the woman beneath the dress I'm after seeing. Oh, really? Here, are you serving anybody, Joyce? Oh, darling, a minute, Vera. I'm only standing in while Samantha's at the dentist. Well, standing in usually means serving. Panic over, everybody. I'm here now. Hey, uh, as long as that dentist don't wipe that lovely smile off your face. <laughs> He's added that special sparkle. Uh, hey, Joyce, Joyce. Just, uh, just keep it under your hat, won't you? I mean, the outing, I mean, discretion. Because there's folk round here who can put two and two together and come up with a four-page spread in the Sundays without any effort at all. Usual, Mr. Sugden. No, it's not. I'd like to talk to your employer. Vera. What? What is it, Percy? I'm a bit busy. Are you aware that your uh, employees uh, make a habit of going around in black leather and pulling dangerous stunts on motorbikes? No, I wasn't. Imagine now you come to mention it. I could invite them to do it on the bar, bring a few more punters in. Don't panic, Mr. Sugden. You're on the list. You know, I don't know if it's me on my bike, but I can't half pull them. It's embarrassing sometimes. And I had you down as someone who blushes a lot. <laughs> Hope I'm not disturbing you, Ms Malone. Not at all. My door is always open staff, Mr McDonald. Yeah, except it's not your door yet, is it, eh? Curly's name's still written on it, I think. Andy. Now, you've not got me in here to give me my cards, have you? Sorry? Well, I realised that the sack can come like a bolt out of the blue in this place, so I'm just asking. I'm not with you, Andy. Well, take Julie Hudson as a case in point. I mean, all she had to do was take time out to blow her nose and she was shown the exit. <laughs> Julie Hudson was completely incompetent, Andy. We'd all tried with her. She had three written warnings. The temp even that wasn't necessary, but I happen to think one shouldn't be treated with less respect than another. Three warnings? I didn't know that. Well, there was no need for you to know, was there? It wasn't your job. It was mine. Anyway, my problems with staff was not why I called you in here. Take a look at this. It's a house. It's a little bit more than that, Andy. It's our house. I put an offer in at lunchtime. What, you've made an offer? Couldn't refuse it. It's not Buckingham Palace, but honestly, Andy, it's a little gem. And there's no problem with house chains and all things like that. Really straightforward. What do you think? Well, does it matter what I think, eh? I mean, you know, give me the paint and the wallpaper and I'll get to work. No doubt you've already got the coordinating colour schemes worked out. Is something wrong, Andy? Oh, no, no, no. How could there be, eh? I mean, why involve me in this decision? 
This is strictly managerial stuff, obviously. Why tax the humble worker with having to make an opinion about this matter? After all, Anne, you're paying for it, aren't you? You're running the shop. It's what we talked about, Andy. We said we'd get a place together. Oh, and this is what you call together, is it? This is what we're like at work, Anne. You make all the decisions and dish out all the orders and I'm just supposed to accept it. Well, no, I'm sorry, but I've got a little bit more respect left in me than that. And I'm not having you wiping your feet all over it. Not here, and certainly not in your own little cosy home sweet home. So you know what you can do? You can stick your job and you can stick that with it. Hang on a minute, Andy, oh, I don't... get it. <laughs> Fine, yes, sir, man. Fine. And how's the world treating you, sir? About the same as usual. Would you care to amplify on that? No, I wouldn't, actually. Not without resorting to foul language. And we wouldn't do that in front of ladies. Oh, we certainly wouldn't. There you go, John. Aye, uh, love. Every poor bastard its joker, doesn't it? Uh, I'm thinking of booking him, actually. I love it last act. <laughs> well, it's a bit sudden, isn't it? It is all a bit last minute, but it's only for a couple of days. Who are you going with? Nobody special. Oh, pull the other one, Joyce. What a posh hotel in Lake District. The breed four poster beds like rabbits up there. You'll be telling me next you're going with your wellies and going hiking. He's just a friend. Going Dutch, are you? <laughs> Some friend. Uh, I wish I had one. Has he got a brother? I'll ask him. Oh, go on then. But make sure you get plenty of fresh air. Keep the window open. I don't want you falling asleep on the job. Have enough with our Jack. <laughs> Betty ready then? Oh, she's just putting a coat on. Oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll just have a swift half then. All right. Hey, now listen. Make sure you give Betty a good time at this do tonight. She don't want to be carrying you home in a posh frock. Oh, I'll be a proper gentleman. No point asking for miracles, Billy. Cheers. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing with that? Well, it's just a half look. You know, I'm going to write that line on your gravestone, Billy. Put it down. All right. Now! Oh, well. It does seem a shame. I'm going to engrave that underneath. Come on, let's yeah. be having it. Oh, yeah, Master. I know. Did he pay for that? Hey, listen, you. You mind your business and I mind mine. Now, listen. If Percy Sugden comes in, give him that on the house. She won't leave Martha. Everybody's been to see her. They've all tried, you know, but she's just... It's as if she's going to sit there forever. Jeez, oh, It may not be Nick. That's all I want to know. Yeah, but no-one's going to let her see anything, are they? You can persuade them. What? You talk to them. You're a nurse? Oh, come They'll on. Listen to Gail, you. it doesn't work like that. You won't even try? It's hopeless to try. Oh, I know that, Marty. Hopeless. Your children. That's where you put all your hope. That's what they're for, isn't it? I mean, not to weigh them down with... and not to put demands on them. Just hope. That's what they are. That's what children... They are our hope! Live a bit, Gail. Hmm? <gasps> Come here. Because otherwise, there's no more for any of us. I could have got something out of the catalogue, but there isn't time. You haven't got out and getting to have you, love. Come on, Judy. <laughs> I'm in a crisis situation here, and it's not often I come round here for support. Actually, ma'am, you do it all the time. That's nice. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Oh, don't go all sensitive on me, ma'am. I've got problems of my own. Like what? Gary? 
Is he wandering? I don't know. He's certainly having a good look round. And he's seen someone that's taken his eye? Yeah. Now what are you going to do about it? I'm going to claw her eyes out and then I'm going to start on him. I think you're going to have to come up with something a little bit better than that. Like what? I can't run to champagne breakfast in the Lake District. <sighs> what do you do, ma'am? What do you do? Webster and Horrocks. Horrocks and Webster. Can't call a business Horrocks. Why not? Well, it's one of them names, isn't it? People play around with names like that. Yeah. They used to do that at school. Oh, there you go. Webox. Nope. No, you're right. You're right. What are you two doing? Surveying the scene of your past crimes. Yeah, something like that. They should convert it. What, open it as a church, you mean? No, 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 no. No, turn it into some sort of respectable living accommodation. It's always lowered the tone of the place, having dilapidated old cars strewn around. Oh, now it's just yours, eh? See, that's a vast improvement. <laughs> You've been drinking. We still are, actually, Derek. Do you want to come? Oh, no, thanks. I'll leave you to your meditations. See yourself. Horweb. Kevtone. Well, this isn't the sunshade of a Ford Cortina. This is a quality business. Quality. Yay, I'll drink to that. Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. smile for Sarah Lou and pretend everything's all right. Yes, yeah, you can. No. Well, Gail, of course you can. Look, you're a mother. You're a good one at that. <sighs> oh, come on. You never let go to any pain you didn't have to, would you? Would you? Mm -hmm. Oh, but Kelly's been stuffing you full of ice cream, I suppose. I'm just not hungry. Oh, come on, you've got to eat something sweetheart, hasn't she, David? Why? Well, because. Because what? Just because, that's why. Oh, and don't go bothering your mum. She'll give me proper Well, of course. Mum? Uh, Sarah, you wouldn't let us see him. Hmm? Mum! I'll make a pot of tea. Uh, no, don't worry, Audrey. You can just look after the kids, please. Mum, why do I need to eat my dinner when I'm not hungry? <laughs> because you have to eat. Nick, can I have mine? Sarah, 